Hi, it is uh, day five of, in the evening of my Easter fast. Um, I'm getting ready for bed, and I almost forgot to do this, but it's important. So um, today we went to Spokane, and it was good. I didn't stay in any place long enough where people would ask, which helped. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, today was a good day. Those hung, that hunger, that kind of gnawing in my solar plexus hasn't completely gone away. It still comes and goes. Um, but it's dull. It's not intense. We went to Zaley's birthday party. We were the party. That's awesome. Um, we were the party. Nope. Okay, go. Um, uh, Nancy came over this morning, and that was good. We had a good talk, and I think we both gleaned from each other. Um, she said some stuff that I needed to hear because I was getting a little a little ahead of myself, and I I. I think she was getting a little discouraged. So it was good to connect in person and just talk. Um, we talked about some things this morning, and Nancy, I'm going f- to forget some stuff. But um, it's been cool. The Lord has been revealing more and more about fasting and just the purpose of fasting and, um, and just... Uh, He's putting in me this desire to really make it like a consistent, um, regular um, part of my life that it's important to be able to um, to make that sacrifice and suppress the flesh and that voice of the flesh um, so that we can hear him clear like their benefits and and he rewards that and 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 to do that just to know him more. Um, is so beneficial for us, and and it's why he's commanded us to do it. It's you know we really are commanded to fast, and yet I don't really know many Christians that do. But in talking with Nancy this morning, you know the the there are three people in particular that I um, admire and um, and just appreciate the the um, their transparency and their humility and the genuineness of their love for the Lord and the integrity that they have and how um, they just walk in truth and bear fruit you know Um, it's just such a a blessing and I glean from them and um, and these three people fast regularly um, whether it's um, you know, every week, or whether it's um, regularly for extended periods of time, they fast, all of them, and I, I really believe that, um, that that is a part of, um, of why they are where they are, because to be able to say no to the flesh, um, and learn just to say no in general, you know, uh, to our flesh and to say yes to him and, and seek him and in the secret place and, and, um, and become clear headed and, uh, is important. And I believe that he rewards us. I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan, uh, and I don't have an understanding of, uh, but I'm not a big fan of like the if then if then sort of stuff like the legalism of, you know, oh you do this and do this and God will do that. Um, but there are promises that He's made and, and conditions that He's made, um, saying that He will um, He will reward you know those who earnestly seek Him. And I believe that fasting and praying together not just fasting but fasting and praying together is a 
of like a main way that we earnestly seek him. Um, just to be able to deny our own flesh and say, no food, no cravings, no, you know, um, man shall not live on bread alone. Um, so anyway, it's been cool. And I don't know if I've touched on the stuff that Nancy and I were talking about. Um, so Nancy, you're going to have to remind me of whatever we said this morning, but it's just been a real blessing to be able to spend time with the Lord and, um, and to glean from him and, um, and just kind of read more about fasting and the purposes of it. And, um, oh, thank you. Yes. Very important. Oh, okay. Thank you, honey. Um, so anyway, and it was funny today on my way to Spokane, um, I put on some worship music and, and was just like, I opened my mouth for the first song and just burst into tears. And I'm like, why am I crying? I don't even understand why I'm crying. I cried the whole way to Spokane. And I don't know why. I was just overwhelmed. I couldn't even like sing words. I would just be like, <laughs> so that was fun too. Anyway, so this is the end of day five. I have not, um, I am not completely over some of the things. I, I don't have all of my energy back, which is fine. I'm still, every once in a while, getting some hunger pangs. I'm not getting the, um, the deep achiness in my body and my legs and and I don't have a headache anymore. Um, I can't remember if there was anything else going on. No pain in my palm, which is good. Um, and my sight is totally normal, which is good too. Um, actually, it's felt clearer since that first day. Um, so that's the physical stuff. And I, I really believe that the Lord is leading me into just a time to to spend with him and get to know him more and, uh, and seek him more, um, because he's here and he, oh gosh, you know, he's so good. I was just thinking about how he's encouraged me over the last few months into this, into fasting and how, what a good father he was and how gentle and tender he was and patient with me, but also just diligent and persistent you know, such a good father to me and led me into this. And it was like this aha moment, you know, of going, you did all of this because you want me to know you. Like, how can we think that the Lord leading us into fasting is a bad thing? We look at fasting as like, oh, I don't get to eat and that stinks. And yet the Lord leading us into fasting is so that because his desire is for us to know him. How amazing is that? That he took all this time with me just to gently encourage me into a place where I was like, yes, Lord, I want to do this so that I could know him more. Like, that's amazing to me. It's just amazing. He is so amazing. So anyway, that is um, day five of my Easter fast. I'll see you on day six. Uh, goodbye.